Hey everybody, we are back. Welcome back to the Evolution Video Podcast. This, we think, is episode 8. We're unsure, it's been such a long time since we've done it, but it's good to be back. Um, the reason you haven't heard much from us lately, guys, is we've kind of been hiding under our desks, shipping the infamous upgrade, which we've eventually done and got that monkey off our back. Um... And I think most of you will agree that although it took some time, it was definitely worth the wait. We've got some really, really positive feedback on Twitter, on email, about how the upgrade went. You know, I've done loads of these things before, and every time before we ship an upgrade, I always sort of don't sleep very well that night, knowing that I'm going to be wiped out for the next two weeks with problems. But this was, you know, just one of the smoothest upgrades we've ever done. And the customers, it would appear, seem to love it. So that's great news. Um, so now that we've got that out of the way, and every time I send some email correspondence and did videos in the last 12 months, they always just managed to get me in trouble with a load of email coming back saying, where's the upgrade? So that's why we've been hiding, but we're back. So um, in this episode, of course, I'm always joined by the legend, Andy White, all the way from Whispeach St. Mary, mm-hmm. my co-host. Hello. you without him. Um, so Andy, do you want to kick us off here, maybe just talk in general about the upgrade that's been shipped, bring the conversation into fellows and um, sure. their support of the program and, and what we're doing with data mm-hmm. in general, that's probably a good start to this. Cool, yeah. thank you Paddy. Hello everyone, good to see you all again. Um, yeah, so what I want to just quickly talk you through is just a, a quick look through some of the stuff we've done with a new version of the software. Um, <laughs> Hopefully you've all had a good chance to have a look around at it now and I've, I've even heard um, from some feedback of our customers, your customers, the end users that have, have noticed the change and the, the, uh, the easier, easier way of surfing around the store to find products they're looking for. So that's obviously great news um, for all of us. So that really helps. Um, I'm just going to jump over to my screen now so we can take a look at, um, at uh, the demo store here. Uh, here we just, we're just looking at one of our demo stores um, that has... Um, a fellow's product on it. So the, the background story here is that we, you know, for a long time, and, and you guys, will, some of you guys will remember this, you know, have um, been getting our data from the wholesalers and relying on the wholesalers for office product data. Um, that's not been what we class as um, e-commerce standard, um, more so catalog standard. So we've been um, working really, really hard, as some of you will know, behind the scenes over the last over two years now with David Brown, building a, an increased, uh, better office product standard. And that's what we've got with Fusion. We've called it Fusion, as you will know. Um, and so we've got over 80,000 SKUs that have got enhanced product data, which is just, you know, you can, if you can imagine the work that goes into going through line by line, 80,000 products to improve the quality of the data, it's, it's, it's no mean feat. So we're really proud of where we are. Um, but for the future, um, the way this, this will keep going from strength to strength is that if we can get the participation of the manufacturers, the brand owners of these products to, uh, to take control. Uh, and the first people to, to, to do that, to take the baton on, is fellows. Um, so we're really, really pleased to have them on board. And if you've, you've probably noticed and had a good chance to look through your, your Evolution store, that the, the, all the data is good, but the one that's the really good cherry on top is the fellows data. It's absolutely top class. Um, yeah. And if we just break it down, um, you can see, you know, f- first thing you'll notice is high resolution images, more than one image, which has always been something we've craved for. Um, if you look at the breakdown of the product pages, you'll notice we changed those as well. So it's you know we had all this extra information and we, we we couldn't fit it into the old product page. So we you know we consulted some user experience experts and said right how is the best way we can construct all this new data we've got um, in a fashion that's going to be easy to read but also going to encourage people to add these products to the basket. So that's why the page is laid out slightly different. We've got you know the stuff you need at the top here, the quick bullet points, sales text there, um, your, your social media buttons, including Pinterest now, which is a real hot social media at the moment. We got the 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 product description. Okay, much better product description. Um, we'll keep on the left hand side for now. You you see we've got information. So this is the PDF file that fellows supply with the product. So you know, the idea being that in the past you guys may have been if you've been trying to sell someone a shredder or one of your customers inquired about a shredder, 
they you, you would maybe send them a link to fellow's website or you know attach the pdf file to an email or a link to the email this way you can just literally attach the um, not attach but you just include the the url to your website on this product page if this is the one you're recommending and then from there they've got you know a pdf file they've got the manual of the product if they want to see that as well um, and then they've got the real magic stuff down on the left hand side here under additional information this is the attributes this is what really really um, sticks everything together and I think probably Paddy you're you're the guy that was kind of the the, 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 the brains behind making that happen I think to, it's fair to say to begin with you were probably a couple of steps ahead of us on um, you know the, well, why that should be so do you want to do you want to talk us through the attributes and how they work. Yeah, and I think we could probably draw on our experience from um, working with the US customers and some of the content that's available there, which is just by an order of magnitude much better than what we were receiving here in the UK. So this is an example of a product that's got tons of attributes. Attributes are these um, tags under the additional information section. and. Um, I think attributes are a fine balance. There's attributes that make sense to display on a page like this. And those are different to the attributes that you would use to actually filter and find products. So it was creating that distinction between attributes that are actually useful to the consumer in terms of drilling down and getting to the right product. And then the full list of attributes that could be associated with that item. There is no rocket science to how this happened, guys. We spent two years going through every single line in the industry, like I said earlier, something like 80,000 products, and came up with a basic set of attributes for each one of those items, um, working back to a specific product type that we had, had, had identified for that category of items. So it was just an enormous amount of manual effort that made it happen. I think you guys could think about Fusion as a starting point. You know, the whole point of Fusion wasn't to say, hey, we've done the data, it's finished, good news, you know, get on with it. It was to say, we've got the industry a starting point. We've got a basic set of attributes, alternatives, related information against each item, and now we want to engage the brand owners to go ahead and take this to the next level, like fellows have done. And by the way, I would love it if our customers would just reach out to fellows and make contact with those guys. Fellows are absolutely putting their money where their mouth is. They've invested in this. They've invested in having just awesome marketing collateral against each product. And um, you guys should contact Richard Monkett Fellows. I think the email address is rmonkettfellows.com. And get Richard in and have a chat and see what he can do for you because we are just so impressed with Fellow's commitment and investment in the independent dealer channel. Mm. We love yeah. those guys and yeah. um, yeah. we we're very grateful for their support as, uh, as we launch Fusion. Mm. So Fusion's a starting point. It will get better over time. We want to be engaging other manufacturers like Echo and Avery and all these other people over time so that we can get all the content on the store up to the same level as the Fellow's data. Sure. I think, yeah, spot on, Paddy. I think if we just look at the last couple of bits of data we've got now, you would have noticed that not just on Fellows products either, this is on, I think we've got thousands, I think something like three, 4,000 videos are, are within the data now, but the data we get from Fellows includes videos, and we just have a, have a look at one of the videos. It's outstanding stuff, and I, I was with um, I was with one of our newer customers um, just probably last month, um, and, and the guy there, um, he was the MD, but he was also the sales guy at heart. You could tell that. Um, and um, I won't name check him in case he doesn't want me to. But um, he was he was explaining to me that um, you know he, he he had a challenge because one of his customers wanted a, a binding product, a binding machine, um, and he knew exactly the product that they wanted. He, he you know he knew it to the to the very specification that they needed. But their, the customers just couldn't see it. They couldn't visualize it, and they needed more more convincing. And um, he said, what he did was he sent across a video from the uh, from the manufacturer's website, and they they bought it like that, you know, straight away. So I think the power of video is, you know, is incredible, and that if we can get more manufacturers on board with creating videos, and that's only going to be a good thing. As well, the last bit of data on this page, which is, you know, by by no means least, because it's awesome stuff, which is the alternative products and the associated products. So in this case here, we're looking at a a, a shredder that's priced at um, eight hundred pounds. 
and you know we've got we're doing the the, the good thing there, which is the upselling um, for the, the the higher machine, and also the the the, the slightly lower price machine there, which is you know your customers aren't daft. They you know they're, they're going to see straight through if every time you're suggesting an alternative, it's for the more expensive model. So as long as it's a decent alternative, um, the chances are you know that they're, they're going to pick make the right choice themselves. And then if you scroll down, we've also got the associated products. So if you buy a fellow shredder of this at this level, you know, you're going to need oil to maintain it and you know, you're know going to get the right bags from fellows to fit the machine properly. So you've got those upsells there, those classic upsells, which is always going to add more to your bottom line. So that kind of covers off the data there and obviously what Paddy was talking about when we were talking about the um, the attributed data. I'll just quickly, very, very quickly, because I know we went through this on the last video, just to show you if you haven't seen the power of attributed data, I can go through the categories to office supplies, to pens, pencils, writing supplies. Let's go to ballpoint pens. There's like 60 something pages of pens here. I'm never going to be able to find the one I'm looking for. So with the attributed data, I can quickly just jump in and say, right, I need a pen that's got red ink. Um, I need it to have a nib size of a fine point. Um, and straight away we've gone from 60 something pages down to just two um, and then I can just have a little look at the brands and say actually yeah yeah well, I'm gonna have a Q-Connect pen because that's that's you know I always get my products Q-Connect is always a brand to look for and there we go we've gone from you know 600 something pens maybe even more to just down to one just by clicking free, fil free filters there and then still we've got the upsells here uh, sorry the cross sells so that's how the data really comes into its own, and um, that's why we're all so excited about it. And the thing that's, you know, you guys can see that too, judging by the feedback we've had. So that's only going to get better. And the only thing I'll just ask you guys is, um, fellows are right on board with this. You know, they're obviously ahead of the curve there. Um, but, um, you know, for this to go from strength to strength, we, we, we need the support and help from other brand owners. And you guys are the guys that have got the relationships with those those brand owners. So if there's if you're looking at a product on, on your Evolution web store and you think, yeah, the data's much better than it was, but I think it still could be better, then um, get in touch with the brand owner and tell them to, to touch base with us because we can definitely work with them and, and you know help them improve uh, their sales and so obviously you know you improve your sales as improving their sales. So I think data is the key, isn't it, Andy? Because there's only so much you can do with functionality. I mean, an Evolution web store does. I don't know, a million different things and yeah, we'll continue to add the right pieces of functionality that we need for the software, but functionality can only take you so far. You know, every new function you add, it adds complexity. It's another thing that has to be supported, another thing we have to train customers to use. And we kind of pride ourselves in building software where you don't need to be a, a genius to work the product. So there's only so far we can go with functionality. The big gains and the user experience for evolution are going to come in data and we're already well down the line as you can see on that initiative but it's also going to come from look and feel and design because design really does matter and um, there's a real myth associated with evolution um, web stores and, I, and I'm sure it's something our competitors tell people and I know this really gets on Andy's nerves <laughs> that all evolution stores look the same you know they're just all the same it's just a template and everybody's got the same site so maybe Andy you could talk about the other big trend here at evolution which is design and making things look nice and sexy um, and maybe show off some of the custom design work that we've done in the past. Sure, yeah, you're right. It, it's uh, I do have a certain bee in my bonnet about um, the, uh, the myth um, that all evolution stores are the same, and you know that's obvious why that's occurred. We we have you know a number of different templates um, with a number of different color choices. But if one person is on template five and another person is on template five and they both choose red, then you know there's there's only so much you can do to make the stores look different. But um, the the bottom line has always been you can have a bespoke store and you can have it looking pretty much like you want. And some of the work we've been doing with companies like Big Atom and Freeman Contingent lately is is just totally you know blown apart the mold to be honest with you um, if we just take a look just just through some stores at the moment like so this is this is ABM trade store the beauty of this store here is actually that ABM um, they actually went for free stores of evolution because they got free parts of their business so this is their office supply store but then also they've got a catering supply store um, <clears throat> which looks very much similar, you know, but you can tell you're on a different site because it's a blue instead of a red. And they've got the mobility store as well. Um, so, you know, that's an example there where we had a situation where a customer um, wanted to, to cover three different industries but have the sort of same brand um, throughout. And that, you know, you won't find another Evolution store that looks like that. 
through to um, all your office needs here, Aon. This is a great looking store and I really love how, what they've done here, what Big Atom have done here to make um, make it sort of feel like a, a stationary store as such because you know, you've got your sugar paper sort of effect and you've got the desk behind it. Um, and then even some of the cool stuff in like the, the, the drop down login menu there and the, the drop down menus here. Um, so yeah, that I think this looks great. Not quite finished this store yet, but um, it's about to go live, I understand. You know, even the little cool barcode at the bottom. Um, here's another one that's not quite live yet, but something that you know you're, I'm sure you'll appreciate. Looks completely unlike any other Evolution store you'll see. R again, a, a nice sort of uh, crafty filter to this store here, um, and then some great use of pop-out menus here that just look outstanding, I think. Uh, through to SOS, this is a a really good corporate looking store it's got you know the big special offers on the front straight and eye catching stuff there as well as some dynamic menus as well again this one's not quite live either and then the last one that's not quite live is is Pitney Bowes's new store which I think looks great as well I'm trying to get in a lot of information on one page but I think it looks great it really does look good um, and then we'll jump to some more live stores from some that have been designed by dealers own design agencies through to um, some of the specialists in the industry. Not just stationery is a great looking store because this company has so much business going on. You know, they've got the call answering services, concierge services, event management, IT support, records management, as well as being an office supplies company as well and a florist. Um, and they've managed to fit it in, you know, web design as well, all under the um, all under the one site there. Through to one to one one of our longest standing customers um, again a great looking site you know, and what they've done here as you can sort of see you know we've made a few changes on one of their banners they've you know, really highlighted the, the, you know, the enhanced data you now it looks good some really cool banners on there uh, office thingy as we know the, the boss award winning office thingy great B2C store uh, office things <laughs> Another great looking store. Egan Reed store looks great. For our future. True line dealer. Uh, Mossy. WOS. You know, uh, Continua. Really cool drop down menus. And last but no means least, Clark as well. So, you know, across those stores, I think you've struggled to find any two that look at all alike. Um, and. Um, you know, it just goes to show in each in each of these situations, the dealer had their own unique set of design requirements, and we've you know we through either ourselves or the dealer's design agency or one of the industry design agencies have managed to um, to to build a, a really cool custom looking store there. And you know, that if you if you've got a, a store and a template and you fancy having it freshened up or or going for a bespoke design, just get in touch and we can put you in touch with the right people. Thank you, Bob mentioned as well, Randy. We've always had this ability to do custom storefront designs, but with the new screens that we've developed, there's actually alternatives to those screens, so that creates even more variations of an evolution site. So you can have a list view page, um, you could have a grid view page, and um, I think over time we want to be doing that with most of the pages on the store. Certainly, as you go through the checkout process, of options on how how many of those screens that we can provide and then give dealers the opportunity to, to move between them um, based on their preference. Agreed, agreed. And yeah, I think um, just while we've got the screen up there, I know we touched on it before, but obviously the new the new controls to be able to put banners anywhere you want pretty much on the front page, whether it be the left column, central column or right column, and also to be able to embed banners into you know, into product pages. So if I click on this product, you can put a category banner under a category, a subcategory, even on searches. So if I type in if I can spell purify, I can have at the top of that search. I click search. I can have at the top of that search um, exactly what I what I, what banner I want, which in this case is a funnily enough a fellows banner because they do purifies. So what that does, guys, is it, it doesn't just add additional capabilities to do merchandising on the site. It multiplies them by the power of a hundred. So before you could have, let's say, you could have six to eight banners on the home page. Um, you could have an unlimited number of banners on the homepage, but it would scroll for a mile. So in a practical sense, maybe eight would fit nicely. We've now gone from having the ability to have eight banners on the stores to 
500 to 1,000 categories where you can push banner content, and then 50 million things that people might search for, all of which you get to promote banner content and the results. So the amount of opportunities to do merchandise in the market is just enormous now right across the platform. Again, if you don't have the skills internally to build those banners, then get in touch, talk to us, and we can put you in touch with guys who can do that type of work for you very, very inexpensively. And on top of um, that, you've got, sure. you've got brand owners as well that will, um, you know, if you, I'm pretty sure I could, you know, name check some, but you know, you, you guys have the relationships with these brand brand owners. You could you could approach and say, you know, I need a banner. It needs to be this wide, this high, um, and I want it to have my logo on it. But your products on, it. and I'm I'm pretty sure that that you know, if the, if the brand owners have got the head screwed on properly, they're going to help you out there because they've got the facilities to do those design things, and they only know they're going to help you sell more of their products by doing that. So guys, I think that will sort of cover this one off. Um, we are going to start doing these regularly again on Fridays um, and see how it goes for the next while until something else pops up. But we'll try and keep it nice and regular. We'll try and come back every week with something different and get as many people involved as possible. Michael, our uh, chief support guy, was supposed to be on this one. Um, never showed up for some reason. Something must have cropped up. Um, but even customers, you know, if, if you would like to get involved in these podcasts and tell your story, then you're more than welcome to get in touch with Andy or myself, and we'll be able to arrange that. Some housekeeping stuff, guys. As I've always maintained in these podcasts, Twitter is without question the best place to keep up to speed on what the latest and greatest stuff is here at Evolution. So if you aren't following us on Twitter, then you should be. And Andy will be able to give you the Twitter address now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What's going on here? I think it's evil underscore software. Yeah, it is. yeah evil underscore software is our Twitter page. So we update the Twitter page daily. Um, you'll get the latest updates there. You'll see what other customers um, who are part of the Evolution Network have to say. We've got over 700 people following us on Twitter. So it's the most current and up-to-date news feed on the inside track here at Evolution. So if you aren't following us, please do that. It will be very beneficial for you. Yeah, that's it. Cool. I think that's, that's it, Andy, isn't yeah, it? That is about it, and, you know, it's good. Okay. In one, in one take as well. All right, guys. Well, listen, have a great one, and we shall catch you again on the next episode.